for. Now, tell me a, a little bit about that fight of the year. Can you can you summarize that and give me a succinct digest? So Corey's robot synthesis um, was one of the most terrifying robots out there. He was the only robot to ever dethrone um, both Lynx and Droopy, the only NHRL world champions at the same time. And so we took our brand new two robots, a brand new concept, and we upset literally one of the best robots that entire season. Um, and it was just absolutely insane. It was a back and forth fight until we smacked him hard enough to get some of his electronics to fall out. And I mean, it was, like, I, I, I think I laid down for like 20 seconds after just to comprehend what happened. Well, I just want to congratulate you all again. Let's see some more great fights. Back to you guys. That really was such a good fight. Uh, it was back and forth for a while until it wasn't. And Corey Nason, back-to-back -back fight of the year. All right, guys, let's meet our next 12-pound competitor, starting with Amphispina. All right, it's got dual egg beater drums, a solid midi bot with a great driver, and it's up against Slam Plan. Brendan Steele, the business cat himself, he is here to destroy the competitors. Look at that blade. This bot is absolutely dominant in this weight class, and it is designed to take out bots just like Alex Richmond's Amphispina. Look at this crowd going absolutely nuts. All right, we are in cage one. Let's head over to Ricky and Luke in the booth. All right, now we've got young drivers here on uh, Amphis Bena's side here. These are teenagers who've built this incredible robot facing off against Brendan Steele, AKA Business Cat here with this big wheeled vert of Slam Plan. Now, Brendan is on the pit crew for Team Five, Huge, very close four, friends with Jonathan three, Schultz. Two, and uh, he's been building one, big wheeled robots fight, in college. Robots fight. And away we go. Interesting slow start. Oh, pause. Something has gone wrong. While we have a moment, we'll talk about some of these design features. It's incredible. The front of Amphisbina has so much going on on it, Luke. Yeah. Uh, it has uh, fibrous. Uh, compliant armor, that bright green and kind of fingery looking uh, texture Five, on the front. Four, Here we go. three, two, one. Fight. Away we go. Fight. Interesting that they're running that Five, armor package four, despite a three, opponent where it will make no four, difference. One. But you know what looks good. Robots fight. Yeah, I think that they, uh, they, they want to try and maybe get under those wheels, try and tip Slam Plan up onto its side. That has been a winning strategy like so that, far. Ricky. Wow. Oh, drive struggling on the left side of Amphisbina now. That was quick. Slam Plan has been so effective. You can see the belt was laying on the floor. Now, Slam Plan is designed to kill verts, and this is two verts in one, Ricky. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, uh, sand, stab, play the two times attack bonus kind of deal. Yeah, exactly. One of your weapons goes down, you've still got half of a weapon, which is pretty good. Yeah, which is exactly what's happened here. You have, uh, oh no, I see there. Well, at least it one is like, struggling. It looks like one of those weapons is just spinning from kinetic energy. I Tap wow. out. Interesting. Tap out. That Fast. is an early tap, tap out. out. I gotta say, the uh, Slam Plan's positioning, they were back 